Hello, welcome to Invictus Porsche. We have with us a Porsche Boxster 987 Generation 2 and the purpose of the video is to tell you what is a bit different about this Gen 2 987 Boxster as opposed to some of our other Porsche Boxsters in stock. It has the 18-inch Boxster S Edition 2 alloys which are a fantastic option to have over the basic alloys that normally come with the Boxsters and the Cayman which are 17-inch normally and they look a bit too small for the car. This has the paint code 041 in German called as Schwarz, in English it's black. It is probably one of the most desirable colors to have in the UK. In terms of the side door mirrors, they are uh, electrically, um, electrically adjustable plus heated. And if you come over to the back right here, it's got the uh, Perspec wind deflector which is super to have because you don't get a lot of wind draft and over to the back not only do you actually have this beautiful boot space but as well as having a spoiler that is retractable and lastly to finish off on a very good note it's got the uh, twin sports tailpipe which I think is another fantastic optional to have because it gives the car a more sportier and aggressive look. What I love on the exterior of a Boxster is the styling uh, it's something that's really evolved from when they were first introduced in 1997 to the mass public and the design hasn't really t changed much but obviously there's been small elements of how the car's really evolved that's from the front styling from the headlight styling from the way it drives and handles and the refinement of the performance that you get from it but also the oozes of quality that you get bo both on the exterior and the interior and something that a lot of people would have not known is that the Boxsters and the Caymans from a heritage point of view were based on the 550A Spider that were originally produced in the 50s. The interior of the Porsche Boxster is something out of this world. It is a beautiful uh, cabin space which is very intimate and quite romantic in some ways because it's a closed cabin space in the sense you don't get a lot of wind draft if you're traveling at let's just say 50 60 or even 70 miles per hour um, that's because of the way it's been designed but at the same time uh, it is very spacious if you're a tall person one of our colleagues is six foot four and he can comfortably get in and out of the car that's because of the adjustment that the seats provide and also the steering wheel this has one of my favorite spec items which is the Alcantara uh, and leather combination on the seats because leather, uh, especially just black leather, can get extremely hot in the summer and very cold in the winter. But the Alcantara works perfectly for both weathers, as well as having a wind deflector, which again makes this uh, cabin space, um, you know, windproof. Uh, you get an entertainment system here that allows you to have CD, um, aux, FM, AM radio, as well as connect to your mobile phone. It's got the six speed manual gearbox with the 2.9 engine, as well as having a smooth leather steering wheel. You get plenty of storage space, starting from the space here on the doors, um, uh, in, under the hand rest, this space under the entertainment system in the glove box, and then on the side where Adam is holding the camera, as well as having a boot space at the back, which I can illustrate, and at the front, which I'll illustrate as well. So you can comfortably get at least two medium-sized suitcases or gym bags or maybe three gym bags in there. And then if you came over to the front, voila, put the roof on, just push this up. It is a soft top roof, which closes extremely fast and is also very well insulated. In terms of owner's history, this has three owners since new. The current owner had it since 2016. He's also a member of Porsche Club GB. He gets approximately 10% discount. Therefore, all of the maintenance and the servicing was done at Porsche Center of Wolverhampton for the past five years. But prior to that, all of the servicing was also done at an official Porsche Center. So it's got a full Porsche service history. From a mechanical condition perspective, it is in very good condition and all essential maintenance items has been done. So it's ready for the next person to literally drive it away from our focal and enjoy it. But as a peace of mind thing, it will still come in with an Invictus Porsche health check or should you want us to do a minor service on it from a safety and a confidence point of view we're happy to do it but it actually doesn't need another service done at an official Porsche Center until November 2021. Now what 
makes the Gen 2 987 Boxsters and Caymans that bit rarer and that bit more unique. It isn't just the fact that the styling in terms of the rear lights or the bumper is different or that you get a diffuser or, or sports uh, uh, twin tailpipes uh, or the slightly leaner and refiner and a meaner signed uh, or a facelift version of the 987 Boxster. Uh, as we call it to be a Gen 2, but also the fact that the 2.9 engine, which is based on the 9A1 architecture of the direct fuel injected engines means that you wouldn't have to worry about the engine having scoring or the engine smoking or the engine being based on the old Bosch uh, indirect fuel injected engines from the 70s, where you do get the tendency for them to smoke a tiny bit from a startup or you just never know when they will go pop but that's never actually happened in our case on a 987 gen 1 but the gen 2 gives you all of that confidence and gives you all of the things that you don't have to worry about that you don't have to put it as a cause of concern in terms of how a porsche boxer drives it is super amazing firstly the gear changes are extremely refined and fluid and it goes into gear as you want it. The pickup is extremely good and the wow factor about a Porsche Boxster is definitely the way it handles, especially how it goes around corners. It being a mid-engine car, it has such an excellent you know, road hold or the grip that you get from the tires onto the road surface is absolutely phenomenal. There's absolutely no play whatsoever from the back end or from the front end in any form, shape whatsoever. And that's again because of the mid-engine. But there are other mid-engine cars, let's face it. But Porsche is known for its precision of how it handles. And this is where their unique selling point comes, comes in. And nothing beats a Porsche, not just the name, not just the heritage, what it stands for, but above all, the way they are architected and the way they are built and the reliability and everything they stand for as a German brand is out of this world. I should mention on this Porsche Boxster 987 Gen 2 is the fact all essential maintenance and serviceable items have been done. Brake fluid, the last service was a major service. The fact it's got circa five millimeter tire tread and above all around. The fact it had brand new discs and pads completed not long ago, which was circa 2000 miles. The fact it's got a brand new driver's belt and there is so many other items which are essential to the maintenance of any car really. And on this, I would say is the coolant hoses you know at some point they do need to be done and the fact that they have been completed is an absolutely amazing uh, piece of mind factor and lastly I've got to say that the owner that had it prior to it coming to us was somebody that was a Porsche enthusiast somebody that loved his cars and uh, credit to him and thanks to him for looking after it the way he did forget to comment like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and should you have any questions about this Porsche feel free to get in touch or just comment on the video or should you have anything you know about one of our other you know Porsches in stock or should you want us to source you a Porsche we'd be happy to help with any of your queries